Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to explain to you um, or show you uh, the different ways motors are mounted in actual fans. And um, the, actual, uh, the actual fans I'm talking about today are the direct drive actual fans. That means, I'm just going to show, uh, draw an actual fan from the side. It is basically like that. That's the propeller and there's the shaft and there's the motor and that and that's a that's a direct drive uh, fan because uh, the shaft is directly um, um, connected to the motor there are other types of, of fans which have for instance a belt drive so the motor is outside the casing and in this case there's a there's a belt drive connected between fan uh, between propeller and motor and the motor is outside the casing. The fans I'm talking about today are all direct drive. Basically, the motor is, is, is mounted inside the casing. Right. Now, the first type and the most commonly type I saw is the foot mounted uh, uh, motor type. And that is, uh, it looks basically, I'm just going to scroll down a bit so I have some space. It basically looks like that. You have the fan here, the casing. And here's the propeller or impeller and here's the shaft and the motor now the motor is standing on its own feet it has its own feet and those feet are then mounted on some kind of platform in the casing okay so from the front the motor would look like that there's a motor and it has basically something like that, its own foot, and, 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 and the motor is mounted on some platform inside the casing. And there's the shaft of the motor. So that's a, a foot-mounted motor. Basically, they're known as B3 motors. That's the code, that's the code for foot-mounted motors, B3. Another type, which uh, is also uh, quite common in bigger actual fans, it's called the B30 or pad-mounted. And that would look something like that. I better draw it from the front first. Here's the motor. And in this case, the motor doesn't have any feet. But uh, in this, uh, let, me, let me just, here's the casing. And if I draw the casing here, the motor is connected via rods to the casing. It's hanging in there through these rods and those rods are connected to the outer shell of the motor those are called pad mounts or B30 that's, a, that's the, the motor type or motor mounting type in this case is B30 and the connections are often called pad mountings or pad mounts yeah so uh, if I draw it in three dimensional you could maybe uh, visualize it better it looks like that that's the motor. Okay, and you've got those rods coming out of it, and here too. And those are those are then mounted on the casing. The casing would go something like that around the whole thing. Yeah, not not such a great drawing, but I think you get my drift. And the third type of motor. Uh, or motor mounting, which is often found in actual fans, is the B5 or flange mounted, and that uh, would look something like that. Uh, it's not that common in actual fans, but I found one manufacturer which did a clever solution with it, and basically a flange mounted motor would look like that from the side. You would have the motor like that. And here, at the front, it has a flange, and this flange has some holes in it and through that it's connected to the fan itself so here's like the casing of the fan and you'd have you'd have the the the, 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 the propeller here or now let me let me let me do that better I think that's that's not that great there's the motor now and there's its flange 
and there's there's the shaft and there's the propeller well, let me do that better yet give it a longer shaft yeah that's much better and here's the propeller and the casing would be something like that okay so um, th this is now a typical flange motor uh, the, the mounting would be along this flange it has no feet or no pads and now as you can see here it's quite difficult to mount such a motor because then you would have to have a structure right behind the propeller and one manufacturer did it with a vane uh, with a guide vane he mounted the, the flange motor on a guide vane I'm gonna explain in another video what a guide vane is but basically a guide vane is uh, 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 a certain structure which removes the turbulences of the of the of the of the impeller so wh when you get airflow coming in here that impeller is going to have some is going to generate some turbulence and this turbulence is then smoothed out by those veins from the front it would look like that there's the motor there's its flange and it has like those screw holes and that and then that flange is mounted to the guide veins and guide veins look basically look like that and the air hits those veins and gets smoothed before it runs out the guide veins there are two types of guide veins uh, in front of the uh, of the impeller and behind the impeller i'm going to explain that in another video but basically uh, B, that's why B5 mountings or B5 uh, motors are not that common in actual fans because it's quite difficult to mount them other than this solution with a, with a guide vane. The, mo the most common types I have seen uh, are the B30, basically used for tunnel applications and jet fans, and the B3, which was the most common, the foot mounted. And... Uh, those feet were mounted on some platform and those platforms varied I mean this is now what I've drawn here is a simple platform but those platform can have platforms can have many different shapes and uh, but basically the motor is the same it's a B3 uh, foot mounted motor and this is the one of the most common motors usually found